farmer and a consultant who've both been involved in dairy industry environment groups. Uh, these are groups of five to eight farmers working together to complete their own farm environment plans. This is another one of the projects in the Passion to Profit program. Emma Buchanan is a managing director of Sotter uh, Rural Compliance and she's based in Hawke's Bay. As, as she's been facilitating five of these environment groups. Now Gretchen King farms at Prongaho in Hawke's Bay with her husband Leighton and is a member of one of these groups as well. So I'm joined now by the two ladies sitting side by side there in the bay. Uh, I suppose I'll go to you first Emma. Why did these groups start and what was the purpose? Um, I guess we can say there was probably someone in the deer industry who had a lot of foresight. Um, it provided a really non-threatening and uh, yes, uh, low risk chance for people to get involved in this sort of environmental stuff. So yeah, it was basically a great idea from someone at DIMS. And Gretchen, what kind of things did you do in the group? Um, the, the great thing about the group was it's all about sort of group learning. So we um, visited, I think we had five farmers in our group and we had a session at each farm and at each session as well as talking about their challenges and their opportunities. We also, um, Emma was very good at it, each one having um, like a theme or a learning. So we, like at one we learned about um, our options about carbon, I think, on one of them, and others we learned about um, critical source areas. And so for us out at Bronco, we're not in a um, land change area. So for a lot of it was um, was all new to us. So it was, it was getting a bit of an understanding about what was coming our way. Mm. And Emma, with your role, uh, it would have been fantastic that the farmers could have their environmental plans drafted effectively under your watch. And um, could you even sign them off? Yeah, that was one of the real advantages. And a lot of them took advantage of getting a um, discounted nutrient budget, which is something they may not have done otherwise. So it gave them an idea of their nitrogen leaching and their carbon position before they really had to have it. So that gives them a much longer lead time to be able to come up with mitigations and things. And drafting the plan themselves, it increased the ownership compared to a plan that perhaps you'd get a consultant to do for you and then show in a bottom drawer. Uh, there was a lot more ownership in the plans that they created themselves. Emma, what sort of expertise did you bring to the table, not just yourself, into these groups to support the farmers? It was a bit of a mixed bag. So different groups... It, yeah, it's a bit random as to who joins which group, but we're incredibly lucky with Gretchen's group that we had an absolute expert on biodiversity. And so he joined the group and he happened to identify on one of the farm visits that the farm had a particularly significant natural area. And then him working with that, that farmer, we were able to go and get protection for that area. So, you know, he bought uh, pest management and all sorts of expertise. And Gretchen, what, what did you find from, from the expertise there that you valued the most support-wise? It was a really good way to get into it because we kind of um, put it on the back burner because we didn't need to do it. And we're in a low-impact farming environment anyway. I think the biggest thing was, um, for us, it just opened our eyes to, um, you know, you, you don't know what you don't know. And so for us, it just created a whole lot of discussions and things that we'd never considered before, like, um, for example, the way we'd fenced one paddock off recently, Emma pointed out if we'd actually fenced the fence down the middle of it, we'd fenced the flat off from the hills, it would have made a total, would have made a difference. And we, you know, just things like that, which at the moment we don't need to do, but we will in the future. So um, that was one of the biggest things. And I think just the learnings that came up, came out from it, what it is always happens, once you learn something new, it then it brings about more questions and actually what ended up happening as a result is we ended up creating a catchment group in our area um, so that a whole community could be working together and that was something that wasn't on our radar whatsoever and yeah that's, that's where we ended up so it was pretty cool. And Emma once you start to form these group of farmers there is so much value to continue with that group into the future what's your intentions? Definitely We're going to be able to cover the biodiversity changes um, and the essential changes. So farmers will be able to keep up to date with what's happening and moving in the world. 
Thank you so much for taking the time to join us as Emma Buchanan and Gretchen King, a part of the P2P. If you probably, I was struggling to hear Emma a little bit. What she was saying is that there's other things such as essential fresh water, indigenous biodiversity, and of course zero carbon that they can all collectively learn and uh, value together uh, by working in a group. 